Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is a Minute Math Puzzle. We have some blocks here, well, boxes, and we're adding, subtracting them, and we want to figure out what numbers go in each one of these boxes to make this a true statement. Now, it's just addition and subtraction, so it's not too hard, and I want you to pause this video and see if you can solve this problem. If you're impatient, just keep on watching. All right, first step I wanna do is label these boxes, okay? I'm gonna call it box A, B, C, and D. What do we know about these boxes? Well, A plus B is equal to A14. A plus AC is equal to 15. Uh, B plus D, oops, that's D first, let's put the B first. It's all right, that's why we can erase here. B plus a D is equal to a 16. And last but certainly not least, the only subtraction, C minus a D is equal to a 10. Now we have this information, we see if we can, well, do some algebra here and rearrange them to get some variables by itself. This puzzle is really just a math problem, if you didn't get it. So first, let's look at the B, D, uh, B plus a D equals 16, and a C minus a D equals a 10. If I add these two equations, the last two together, my Ds <laughs> cancel out. We have a B plus a C is equal to a 16 plus 10, which is a good old 26. Now from here, I wanna look through my other equations and see what can I do with that B plus a C equals 26, and maybe cancel something, well, out. Well, if I rearrange my first equation, a plus b equals 14, I can make that say that, well, b equals a uh, 14 minus an a, right? Subtract a to both sides. With that information, I can substitute that in, well, for b. So b uh, here is a 14 minus an a plus c equals a 26, okay? Now, if I look at my next equation down here, I have a plus c equals a 15. So if I write that below that, a plus a c equals a 15. Let's bring that down so you can see where I got that here. I'm gonna add these two equations right here. I'm doing that because I want my a to cancel and I will just get a c value left over. Negative a and positive a cancels. I have a 14 down here plus a 2c is equal to 26 plus a 15, which is a 30, uh, 30, 41. <laughs> Can't add here. I wanna subtract now a 14 to both sides, and I'm left with a 2c is equal to 41 minus a 14. Oh, that comes out to be, let's put a three here, carry the one, that's a seven, 27 divided by two, and C, first one we get here by itself, let's go put that, uh, let's put it right here. C, I'll make a list here, C is equal to 27 over two, which is a 13.5, okay. Now if C equals 13.5, it's pretty easy to find the rest. Let's go with our second equation right here. I have A plus my C value, 13.5 is equal to 15. Subtract that 13.5 to both sides, and now we're on easy street. A equals 15 minus 13.5, that's gonna be a, <laughs> a 1.5, right? Yeah, 1.5 for A, got that right here. Keep on going, A is a 1.5. Oh, let's go with our first equation now. We have A, 1.5, right? Let's just bring that here. Plus a B is equal to a 14. From there, I can get B, subtract a 1.5 to both sides, and B is equal to a good old 14 minus 1.5, is a 12.5, and we have A, we have B, we have C, we just need the D. So we gotta find a D here. Uh, we have B plus D equals a 16. Uh, B is a 12.5 plus AD equals 16. Subtract a 12.5 to both sides, and we have D here equals a 16 minus 12.5 is a 3.5.
So let's go erase our A, B, C, and D's here and see if it turns out to be true. So A we said is a 1.5, let's erase that. We got a 1.5 right here. B we said was a 12.5. C is a 13.5. And lastly, the good old D is a 3.5. Let's check and see if this worked here. 1.5 plus a 12.5, uh, that gives me a 14. <laughs> We're good. 13.5 minus a 3.5 is a 10. 1.5 plus a 13.5 is a 15. Good old check mark. And last but not least, 12.5 plus a 3.5 does in fact give me a 16. And we got our answer right here. Were your answers correct to what I have? If so, great for you. If not, well, Hopefully you learned how to solve this problem. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.